So if you're not making your own hummus at home, you really should be. It's super, super easy and it's gonna be a lot healthier than the store-bought alternative if you're using a good olive oil. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make a roasted garlic hummus. Um, starts with a bit of garlic. All right, the oven is at around 325 or so. Um, you could do this at 350. You wanna take the top portion of the garlic off. Check it out. This kind of stuff, you save for your stock pot. This goes into a baking dish. If you're gonna do more than two cloves, um, and you have a muffin tin, it's actually really nice to roast garlic in a muffin tin. Um, so these guys, just really simply, get some olive oil over the top, quite a bit. If there's excess, it's gonna be really, really delicious oil for you to dunk some bread into and have a little cheeky snack. Um, and a little bit of salt on top of the cloves. And this is gonna roast in the oven for probably 45 minutes or so. Um, once your house starts smelling really, really good, the roast of garlic, um, it's probably done. And I'll show you what you wanna look for. All right, so these guys are gonna get rinsed or else they're gonna taste kind of beany. Just rinse them lightly in a little bit of cold water. Once this liquid essentially runs clear, you're good to go. Alright, so um, about one lemon's worth of juice. And then once these cloves of roasted garlic cool down a little bit, what you can do is just squeeze them out like that right into the blender. And it's nice to do this when it's hot too because it's gonna help that um, it's gonna help the chickpeas spin a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start with just one head of roasted garlic. If you love roasted garlic, if you're a freak, add three, add four. It's just gonna make a nice garlicky, sweet kind of spread. Um, I just want to do one in there because I'm gonna save these two for pasta sauce, which I'll show you guys later. All right. Um, so lemon juice, chickpeas, roasted garlic. Um, a good glug of olive oil and a pinch of salt. Now if you have a hard time getting this spinning on the blender or in a food processor, what you can end up doing is adding just a few splashes of like super, super cold water um, and it'll help get it nice and creamy and spin freely. So to the blender, we go. All right, so I let this spin in the blender for three or four minutes. Um, once I got it spinning, I just kind of walked away from it. Uh, the longer you let it go in the blender, the smoother the hummus will have. Um, you can eat this right away. Um, I like to refrigerate it a little bit. It'll help thicken it up a little bit because you've got so much olive oil in here um, that when you put it in the fridge, it'll get just a little bit thicker. But this is good to go right out of the blender. That's hummus, man. Super easy. Cheers.